Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to install Java as well as the development kit so that we could use on our projects and any code that we're going to be developing. So to get started, uh, open up your web browser and we want to make sure that you're at java.com and make sure that you have the standard Java installed on your machine. Then afterwards open up Google and type in Java SDK for their standard development kit. And we want the Oracle website, which is this one right here, the Java SE Development Kit 8. Once you're on Oracle's website, you want to go ahead and accept the license and agreement and go ahead and download the x86 version or the x64 64 version, either depending on your operating system. I already downloaded the x86. Once you have it, you have a file like this right here on your desktop. Install it and make sure you have installed the Java as well. Once you have all of that installed, go ahead and jump over to a terminal. Let's see if we have Java installed. Just type in Java minus version. And then the version number should come up right on the top. If you don't get it, then re try reinstalling it again. The next thing we want to do is have Java C or compile available. If nothing comes up, we have to set up the path. In order to do that, go ahead and open my computer. Go to your local C drive. If you downloaded the x86, it's going to be in this folder. Look for the Java folder, usually listed alphabetically. Once you're in the Java folder, you want the JDK 1.8, which should be the top one, inside your bin folder. Then you want to double click up here, your address bar, copy this, so we could create a new path because the executable for Java C is right here. So we have to, we have to add it to the path. So we right click on my computer, we go to properties, advanced system settings, environment variables. We create new, we type in the variable path, all capitalized, and then we press control V to paste in that path. And then you hit OK. After that, you already have that one set. Then click OK, apply and hit out of there, close out of this. Then you have that path available. Then when you go back to your terminal, if you type in Java C minus the version, you should have the most updated current version. Okay, cool. The next step to conclude this video, let's, uh, let me show you how to compli compile a quick program. Right here in my Notepad++, uh, I already created a Java, Java program uh, with a class called Hello YouTubers. Okay, so this is just gonna print out Hello YouTubers right here. Once you save that, here's the file that I already saved right here on the desktop. Inside the compiler, you wanna just navigate to that location you want to type in Java C and then the file name hello and then press enter if no errors occurs it compiled it into bytecode and it's going to create this class file right here once you have that class file all you do is type in Java hello and just remove the dot class and run it and it would run your program right in the command prompt again thanks for watching if you want um, basically I'm going to start creating a new series of um, Java, basic Java tutorials, because this is something that I'm learning new and diving into and adding it to my repertoire of programming languages. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave a comment and let me know what future videos you want to watch.